Now let's together inviting our lineage guru, Holiness Deepen Buddha Lineage, to bestow Dharma transmission, Dharma teaching. And prior to the teaching, let's pay homage to the Venerable Mang Liao Ming, Master Sakya Zheng Kong, the 16th Dhamma King Kamapa, and Master Dukdan Tarji. Homage to the main deity of Homa, the 6th Vajra Holder, the Vajra Sattva. Homage to the three jewels represented on altar. Sumo, all Dharma masters, Dharma educators, Dharma teachers, assistant Dharma, Dharma lecturers, assistant Dharma teachers, temple directors, all disciples present here and over the webcast, and our guests of honors today. My father. Mr. Lu Ersun, and my sister, Lu Seng Mei, and my college classmate, uh, Mr. Lin, and Mr. Zhu and Mr. Chen. And from Taizong Irrigation Association, Ms. Lin. And accountant to the uh, Tribuda Tantrayana Association of Taiwan, Mr. Li. And a famous TV host, uh, Mr. Tai Ziyuan. And from the Social Affairs Bureau of Taizong City, Director General Wang Xiuyin. And from Nanto Cons County Council, a representative to Council Member Xu. And from Taizong City, the uh, wood, uh, Cottonwood Flower Charitable Organization, President Chen. And uh, disciples watching over the internet, and also many other honorable guests present here. Good afternoon. How do you do? Domo <laughs> konnichiwa. Good afternoon in Japan. Japanese. There's a Japanese master here. How are you? That's in Cantonese. Because many others also speak in Cantonese. And first, we would like to invite a Dharma brother from Zhenming chapter and he has a very extraordinary witness and we would like to invite him to first give a speech and briefly concisely and pointedly and to the point You would also like to talk? Sijun, Simu, all masters, all reference, fellow disciples. 
Uh, Sumo last week said that uh, we have something that other Buddhist schools don't. And I would like to let me just briefly explain that uh, I joined the Iguan Iguan Tao, the another Buddhist school, before uh, taking refuge in Grandmaster. And I also joined the Gong Tai Zen school. And there was a fellow worker, uh, Dharma Sister Lin, that came to the chapter and told my wife. And the Grand Master uh, told her to come, in, uh, in the dream told her to come to the chapter to help. And on April 8th last week, at about uh, 9.20 to 9.30 in the morning, I back my car. Huh? And it was in the news uh, the, at 4 p.m. that afternoon for a uh, continuous 24 hours. He had an accident. This accident was broadcast this in the news. And at 9.30, and uh, she called the uh, Master Le Zi about this. And then we went to the hospital. And I was, uh, it's not very clear the names here. And then we had the Bardo deliverance for the, uh, for the victims. And, uh, we invited uh, Master Le Zi, uh, to do the, the funeral rituals for these people. Uh, oh, and then in the ceremony, we saw the uh, prachna light, you know, the round wisdom light. And, and then I asked uh, Dharma brother whether there's other uh, calamities or things that's about to come, but that's not the case. And according to him, that uh, Master Le Zi performing the rituals, that's uh, 90 out of 100, and what you did and is another tense to make 100. And so that's the first half, so everything went very well. And then ever since uh, Grandmaster came back to Taiwan and to Master Lutz's place, I went there too. And uh, my brother introduced me. And we'll, we'll tell you why this happened. And my wife, prior to marriage, said that uh, you take care of the big things and I take care of the minor things. So now I, I, I talk about the first half and the second half let her talk about it. So students, all masters, fellow disciples, everybody, how do you do? Yeah. Because uh, we had this uh, affinity, uh, we had uh, to know with the uh, Dharma sister and then this uh, chapter leader that had this accident. It's something that it's hard to to phantom unless you experience it yourself. But uh, please uh, don't be suspicious or skeptical about this. You should just practice diligently. 
小朋友可以再来到你家，而且在很短的时间，你的媳妇会怀孕。她来的时候会有气。And the son died because of the of the backup of the car. And then uh, the second one I missed, but the third one is that when he returns, there would be signs. Uh, a year later, huh? the first. And so uh, he would be born into the family as the first uh, an, a year later, and it was a son. And then the third child is uh, a Caesarean. So on April 8th, two months earlier, the doctor already said this is the third child. But uh, and and the child's head has turned uh, to the right position. Do you have time to wait till then? And then I asked Grandmaster, when would the child be born? And Grandmaster said, well, I would tell you after I do my meditation practice. So uh, that's my that my daughter-in-law uh, uh, gave birth uh, at the right time. So uh, she gave birth to the to the child on the exact right time, date, month, a year later. And now I would like to. Invite the temple directors uh, to fill in some more details. So, I am the uh, temple directors of the Ming chapter. In taking refuge in Grandmaster, I often told myself that I am a new disciple. But actually, it's been 30 years, over 30 years. So, I've been taking refuge for over 30 years. And every single day, I always do a tantric practice and never miss one. Because Grandmother said, if you don't practice for one day, then you're a ghost for that day. So for this past 30 years, at least I practice every single day. And I always visualize Grandmasters on top of our heads because Grandmaster is a Buddha. He ha he's already reached Buddhahood. So ever since I took refuge, I always view Grandmaster as the Buddha. And I always follow his footsteps to attain Buddhahood. So will we attain Buddhahood? Yes, that's the answers of the assembly. So please don't have any doubts. On the year 78, in my meditation, Grandmaster and Guldamada told me that you need to propagate the Buddha Dharma and reach out. And I said, no, I cannot. I'm. I don't have the ability. Because I don't look that good. And uh, for me to reach out to people to deliver them, every time I always visualize the master on top of our head. So when this Dharma sister came to me to ask for consultation, I knew that this child has died. And I told her, don't worry. And the master told me that he was born into the wrong family. And he wanted to be born into your family and uh, have uh, that affinity with you. So. So he died April 8th, uh, about 9.30, the year before, and he was born the year after at 10.30, and he was uh, also the wrong sex because he, he actually was a girl before, and now he was born as a boy.
Thank you to the three of you. So this child, after after death, the time of the death and the time of birth in the the next year is exactly the same. Uh, she was, she died because she was bleeding in the head when in the car accident. So when she was born as a boy the year after, uh, that place, that position in the head was red. So at that, at that place in the head of the baby, was red where it was hit the year before. So this is a very amazing, mir miraculous incident to let you know that uh, reincarnation, rebirth really happens. And today we had the Vajra Sattva. Actually, they requested for the Vajra Dara but that's too big. He is the 16th ground Buddha, the Buddha of the 16th ground, which is Samantabhadra Buddha, which is the first Vajra holder. That's called the Vajra holder. In Tantric Buddhism, that's the greatest Buddha. The greatest Buddha is the Vajra holder of Vajra Dara and his body is blue. So today Grandmaster is wearing blue to match uh, or to be connected with the Vajradhara. And the other five Buddhas in the middle, Namo Vairokana Buddha and Akshobha Buddha to the east, Amitabha Buddha to the west. Uh, Ravnasama Buddha to the south and Amogasiddhi Buddha to the north. That's the five Vajra holders. But the lineage in Tantric Buddhism from the five Vajra holders then to the transmitting teacher, which is the Iron Gate in the South India. Vajra Sattva appeared and he is called he was called the sixth Vajra holder. So Vajra Sattva was also called the sixth Vajra holder, which is the main deity of Homas today. And in the future the Vajra masters who is transmitting Buddha Dharma, including Grandmaster, could be called the seventh Vajra holder. <laughs>